Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a happy box of crayons. Oh, I think it's super adorable. Uh, the crayons are removable, so you can take them out. Um, I have it so that you can put six crayons in there so you have one of every color. Um, but you could just do like three if you wanted to. And they would fit in there just fine as well. Just kind of depends what you want. Like that. Maybe three crayons too. But it is wide enough to have all six colors in there if you want it. And of course the happy faces on the crayon box because you can't really see them when the crayons are inside. So band wise, um, each crayon, the color part is 104 and then there's 16 for the little stripe portions. And then the crayon box is 212 green and then there was 230 reading my writing here, 230 yellow, and then your eyes, your cheeks, and your mouth. So I think it's super awesome. I, mean, I figured that if you're going to make like all six crayons, it could be kind of band heavy. So that's why I didn't like make it a full huge box to flip over. And I think this definitely just gives the impression of the crayon box anyways. So, but we'll show you how to make the, make a crayon and then um, we will make the box. So first, you make, we'll make the stuff ahead of time. You make the cheeks for the box. So whatever color you want for the cheek, on the hook, wrap it around once to figure eight. Grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then pull them through two bands that you want in that center color. Like that. So you want two cheeks. The eyes, I'm using 9mm pony beads when I get there. You can use bands, either two bands if you want a large eye, one band if you want a small eye. But it's the same as the cheeks, put them on the hook, wrap them around. Then you grab all the bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands. The color of that middle portion, like that. So you want two eyes, however you're going to make them. And then, crayon. Um, they're made on four pins, so you can get like all six crayons on your loom if you want to. I'm going to make a light orange one because I don't have one yet. First, you're going to take two bands, put them on your hook, wrap them around once, grab all four, wrap them around again, and then you'll take four bands. and pull them through. And then I just go ahead and put this on the loom across. Like that. And you'll kind of position these. So, like if I had more crayons, I'd have one here, one here, and then this one would be right here. So what I'm gonna do is take two bands from each side of the pins and bring them up or down, however you put them on your loom there with your room. Just two. It's basically we just did a four pin but our center is a doubled cap band. Now we're going to do two rows all the way around. So this is our first row. Like that. Then you flip the bottom two bands. Push them down. Do our second row all the way around. Like that. Flip the bottom four this time. down and then you want to go and find that center area and pull it up kind of on top of the pin like that now you'll want whatever you're going to color you're going to use for your stripe and you want to take one of the bands and wrap it around each pin as a cap band so one and then again like that. You do that on each pin. Like 
like that. And push all those down. Then we'll do a row right on top. Like that. Then we'll flip over the bottom four orange bands and then you can flip over that cap band as well. I usually just do the bottom four first and then the cap band. I don't know if it really makes a difference but it just kind of gets, seems to get, I don't know, routine. <laughs> Push that down. Then we're going to put cap bands on again, just like we did before. Let's feel lucky. Where'd these bands come from? They feel all stretchy, yucky. So like that. Then we're going to do a row right on top like before like that again flip your bottom four then flip that cap band like that. Push down. Now we're going to do four rows around. Um, if you, I will tell you what rows you could put a face on this if you want to. So first just a row all the way around. Like that. Flip the bottom four. Push down. Now this is the row where you'd want to add your eyes if you wanted to put on a face. Use like one band wrapped around your two bands and then or seven millimeter pony beads. You want smaller beads if you're going to do the face. So you do the eyes, they'd go right here. But I'm going to do a row all the way around. that. Flip the bottom four. Push them down. This is where you do your cheek row if you're going to do cheeks on your crayon. Same spot as the eyes. I'm just going to do a row all the way around. That. Flip your bottom four. And if you're doing a face, make sure you put on your smile onto the pin before you go on. And you'll do a row around. Flip your bottom four. Push down, and then another row all the way around. Flip your bottom four. Push down. Now we're going to put cap bands on the pins again, wrapped around that one time. Push them down, 
do a row around. Like that. Flip your bottom four and then flip your cap band. push down. Then we're going to want to put cap bands on again. Push them down. Then we'll do a row around. Again, and for the last time, flip the bottom four and then flip that cap band. Last time with the cap bands, I should say. Push down. And now we do two rows all the way around. There's one row, flip your bottom four, push down, and then another row, or second row, Flip your bottom four, push your bands down, and then we're ready to close. So I'm just going to start on one side, put my hook in through the bands, and then kind of work my way around until I get it all off. Now I'll take two bands, pull them through, everything on my hook. both ends on, make a slip knot, and then before I pull too tight, I'm going to flatten the top like that, and then pull. And I'll take my hook up through the inside, grab my tail band, pull it in and hide it. So we have a happy crayon. The only thing that you'll probably have to do is with the cap bands, um, we couldn't make them stretch them out because it would look funny and you know, we can't make them tighter than they are or like make the crayon weird. So you might have some of them that are either hidden behind bands, so you gotta move some bands out of the way, or they might just kind of stick out farther than you want. If that's the case, just take your hook, go up through the center, and just grab the band and pull it towards the center. I just do that wherever it's too long. The top should be pointy. I like that. Do the same thing on the bottom.
like so. Got my crayon a little crooked from squishing it, I think. <laughs> so like that. Sweet crayon. And then you'll have a face on here if you followed where I told you to put it. So awesome. Pretty quick to make too. And then we have our box. So we want the loom, wrong end towards us. And you'll want your colors. Finally found something to do with this color green. And we're going to put eight X's on here. So I'm going to start kind of low, like third pin up here. First four X's are green. So two bands go left to right. And then right on top of that, kind of right to left like that. So that's one X. Then we need to do two. three and four. So one, two, three, four X's. Next X is going to be yellow. So one and two. And then we're going to do three green X's. One three and then on the two end pins here we'll do a cap band on each one with two bands wrapped around one and two like that so now you'll take your hook and we'll go in through the cap band on the right here, because that's where the bottom band is. Go in through those bands, grab those ba two bands, pull them up and back towards themselves. And again, go to the left now, pull those bands up, bring them across. And then we just alternate all the way down. So we'll start, go to the right again, because that's the, where the band is on the bottom. Pull up those bottom two bands back towards themselves. And then we'll go to the left. And right, and left, right, left, right, And there is some pressure on my loom. You can see the pin bars bending in. If you have that middle base plate in, you should be fine. But now, what we're going to do is puff basically the corners of the box. So these second pins up from the bottom, we're going to puff these out. So what we do is we'll take your hook, go in through those four bands that are there, pull up two green bands, put both ends on the hook, and then take the bands off the pin, and then the ones that are on your hook will go back onto the pin. So you do that to the one right across. Pull up two bands. Both ends on the hook. Pull off. Back on. And we'll do that same thing down here on the second pins in. So 
something like that. We have our four pins puffed. And we're going to do a row around. So I'm going to start down here. It's green. 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 Then when we get right here, we're going to have to make a transition band. And that is two bands put together in half, basically. So I'm going to put them on top of each other. And it doesn't matter which one's on top, but uh, you'll grab, in my case, I'm going to grab the yellow band through the green band, which is on top. I'll grab the green band the, through the yellow band. And then you just kind of fold them onto each other. So it's like that, a half and half band. And the green will go on one side, and the yellow will go towards the center, like this. If you can't make it on your fingers, so that's confusing, you can make it on your loom. Just take your two colors that you need, put one band on, put the other band on, doesn't matter which color is on top. Then you go in through the top band, pull up the bottom band back towards itself. And then right in here, in that little triangle spot, You'll grab the other band and pull it back towards itself. And then when you take it off the loom, you have a half and half band as well. So that will go here. And we'll do green all the way around until we need to do another half and half band on the other side. band, another half and half, and then green to the beginning. So like that. You'll flip the bottom four all the way around. Push everything down. So once again, we're going to puff our, our corners. So the second pin's up from the bottom. We're going to puff those. And puff the one on the other side. Second pin up. Now we'll puff down here at the other end, second pin down. Like that. And then we're going to do another row all the way around, same way as before. Transition band. Get on a roll. I forget about it. I actually love the color. I used to do it quite a bit. I buy coloring books and color little pictures. Or when I get older, when I thought I was too old to be coloring in coloring books, I would buy the coloring books, but then I would take the pictures and enlarge them onto um, bigger, like, tag board or something like that. So I'd actually turn them into, like, um, paintings or whatever. Use some oil paints, and I still have a few of them laying around here. But that was always cool, because you have a big 
poster size picture when you're done of the cute picture. I like that. Flip the bottom four. I always like the precious moments ones. I thought those were so cute. Or the animals ones. Like just cute little animals. Alright, push your bands down. So then what we're going to do is we're going to start increasing out here for the yellow. So for these four pins that are around the, the center yellow one, we're going to puff them out with yellow. So you go in, pull up the yellow bands, and put them on the pin. Do that on both sides. Not in the middle. Yikes. Not there. Here. I thought I felt something drop on me. Yikes. So I'm imagining what it could be. So like that. Puff those four pins. And now we're going to do two rows all the way around with the transition bands and then just a little bit more yellow in the center this time. So green. And this will be our first row. So transition band here now. Two spots of yellow and then another transition band. Like that. Clip your bottom four. Like that. I'm going to unstick the bands now. Push everything down. Now we'll do our second row just like our last row that we just did. It's funny because I end up having like 10 boxes of crayons in the house. I don't know why. I think it's because it's school time. And when school starts, they're super cheap. So you grab a box for the, what the kids need for school. And then you end up grabbing a couple more boxes to have at home. And then the kids either don't want a color. Or they've lost all the colors. 
or you forget where you put them, which is usually my case. And you find a little stash of them somewhere. <laughs> Came in handy though when I did some of those crayon art um, things with a blow dryer. Those are kind of fun. I had lots of crayons to melt. So like that. Flip your bottom four. That got really messy though. The hair dryer and you're blowing it on hot wax and if you're not careful then you're blowing it all over the place and it's not going where you want to and and it's hot. And that. Push everything down. So now we're ready to put on our mouth band and it's just going to go on the center pin here. So I'm going to take a band, wrap it around my hook, and take it off and hold it so it's doubled. Go in through the bands around this pin, grab my mouth band, pull it up through and over the top, pull it down so it's wrapped around the pin, and then let's bring it up. Like that. So our next row is going to be our cheek row after we puff with yellow again. So these four pins are going to get puffed with yellow. I wrote down all my notes in a blue pen, which is not what I normally use. I'm going to use a black pen, so it's like I'm looking at my instructions and I'm kind of like, they just seem all foreign to me for some reason. So that's part of my weirdness right now. Because as much as I would love to say that I've memorized every design and how to do it, that is not so. I do have to take some notes. So like that, we puffed out these four. Now we'll do our cheek row around. So I'm going to start with green down here and transition to yellow. And yellow and a cheek. And another cheek. And the rest of the way we just fill in the row like we have been. Just a little bit more yellow this row. And we'll put that on the right way. Like that. Flip your bottom four. Your bands down. 
Next is our eye row, so you want your eyes. So we'll do two bands down here. Transition. And two bands. And the eye goes right above the cheeks. And then just continue around with the transitioning and the other bands. Somebody asked me what I do with all the duplicates of things that I make. Like what do I, do I get rid of them or keep them or and the answer is I have two children, young children, who like playing with my happy things. So they're constantly, I want one, I want one, and then if I make one and the other one doesn't have it, then they get upset. So I have to, I'd have to make two of everything anyways. <laughs> so like that. Then you flip the bottom four. Now we're just kind of doing the next portion up, so it's a lot of repetitiveness, kind of. So we're going to puff out again, so the next four pins that are out, we'll puff those with the yellow. We're going to do two rows around using this kind of same pattern. So the green and then transition right away. And a lot of yellow. thought it'd be cool to use solar bands to make your crayons because then they'd change colors. How exciting. Like that. Flip your bottom four.
Put some down. Okay, untuck all this. So we'll do our second row all the way around. Here's our second row. Flip your bottom four. Push your bands down. Now we're going to puff the last remaining green with yellow. Then we are done with the green now. So puff the last four that are left. Like so. So now everything is yellow. And we're going to do two rows all the way around. So this is our first row. Like that. Flip your bottom four. Sorry if I'm kind of boring in this tutorial. I was actually thinking about how somebody told me that I talk too much or tell too many stories, so then I'm not booming as fast as I could. And then I have other people who tell me that I boom too fast. I can't win. I'm not trying to, I just looming. Pushing down. Now we'll do our next and final row all the way around. All yellow.
Plus it's getting late, so I'm getting kind of tired. And I say goofy things when I'm tired. They're not easy to edit out. <laughs> like that. Flip the bottom four. And stick it from the ends. Push everything down. Voila! So now we're going to close this. So I'm going to start down here on this lower left pin. And you have Two bands that are on top and two bands that are on bottom. I'm going to go through the top ones, grab the bottom ones, pull them up through the top. Uh, well, you can see there, but I can tell that I'm through those bands that are still on the pin with the ones that are on my hook. So if I'm good there, I'll bring it back. Then I'm going to go in through the top four bands on the next pin, grab the bottom two bands, pull them up through, and bring them forward or back. Then I'm going to repeat that around. Go through the top four, grab the bottom two, pull them up, back towards themselves, and just keep doing that. And when you get to the end here, you'll do the same thing, pull up that band, but then it's going to come across to the other side. And then when you get to the other side, you're kind of looming backwards. So you're still going to go through the top four. Come on. Go through the top four, grab those bottom two, pull them up, and then bring them back towards you. And you'll do that down towards the beginning here. get to this side, you're going to bring it back over the other side. So go into the top four, grab that bottom two, and then bring it back to where we started. So the only open point is right here. So everything else, I'm going to push this down, everything else I can go and grab and release it from the pins. And for our open point here, just take my hook through there, pull it off, and then I'm going to turn this inside out. So I have these two on my hook. I'm going to do a slip knot for that last one. Then I'm going to find, probably like right here is a good choice. Go through those. Take a band, pull it through everything that's on my hook, both ends on, and make a slip knot. And then we're just going to hide that tail by kind of weaving it in some of the inside stuff, which is now on the outside. Like 
that. So you want to stretch this out. Flip it back the other way. Nice little box. So, if you're going to put three crayons in it only, they go in there fairly easily. I'm just going to hold it open, put a couple in. room for my third. And I fit in there pretty quickly like that. But if you want to do six crayons, you're going to take it and I kind of take my hand, hold my front crayons in like that. And then I'll just kind of poke in the other ones behind. in between my fingers. And you can adjust them once you get them in there, but... But basically like that. Make sure you fix your smile so he's actually smiling. Well, that didn't fix anything. <laughs> I was kind of worried. Don't take my crayons. There, I like that. Smile. So, I hope that you like this. I think it's super cute and um, for me, I'm going to use the crayons with my kids for colors to tell them or kind of learning colors and things like that. I think it'll be, it'll be fun and cute. They like crayons and playing with the rainbow loom stuff so that I make. So it'd be awesome. And I have a lonely crayon in here. I'll have to make some more, I guess. Of course, I will. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, it wasn't too difficult, I don't think. Just a little time consuming, especially if you make all six crayons. But if you definitely make it, I need to see it on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic. And don't forget to tag me in the pictures. That's the best way for me to see them. I'm um, just commenting. I don't always see them because they'll pass through the feed too quickly sometimes. And then share them on my Insta or on my Facebook, which is Feeling Swifty or Crafting Fantastic. There's quite a few wonderful people on there that are always sharing their pictures and their their different colors and how they put things together. It's pretty awesome. And always, of course, give my videos thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends so they know when other stuff comes out. And I will have more tutorials for you soon.